Aloha my friends, welcome back to my Minecraft channel, my name is Sacred Lotus and welcome back to another adventure here on the Simply Java server and uh, before we get into today's activity, um, I want to share with you some things that happened off camera. So I was digging around by the cave yes the other day and um, I came across an odd looking bone uh, just buried beneath the surface and it didn't look like any bone belonging to any creature that I was I was familiar with and it looked very old so my nerd self got very excited um, so I packaged the bone up, I wrote a very nice letter and uh, I put some padding to, you know, to protect it because it looked kind of fragile because I didn't want it to get damaged along the way and I decided to send it off to a paleon to some paleontology, a paleontology research lab that I knew of. Um, not gonna lie, I'm excited. I would. I'm very excited at the prospect of being being living near a uh, a fossil site. But you never know. So while we are waiting. For to hear word back on that uh, that th thing I told you about um, we're going to instead uh, we're going to build a wool farm um, which I have if you're not I did mention last episode that I wanted to build a storage area and I kind of dug out an area underneath my back garden there's holes in the floor but um yeah I'm gonna build it in here I'm going to go about gathering some of the things the materials I need before we get get to building it uh, and I'll see you shortly okay so I spent the better part of yesterday um on live stream gathering up uh, all the bits we need for the wool farm and I've got a double chest here full of things uh, the sheep are up the top and um, we've got a cow down here um, there's also something I also should uh, check my post box uh, before I forget you know you never know just in case the uh, postman decided to pay a visit um, so let's have a look shit there's no baddies about ready to get me let's have a look oh so the first one's taken the parcel I dropped off in here and um, has left a rather ominous uh, delivery uh, sorry I heard footsteps um, a cow's head in wheat. Um, not sure what to make of that. You know, that seems rather ominous. Uh, I don't know whether to take this or not, because in case I, I, I uh, you know, bring a curse onto my house. I don't, I don't, I don't want any curses. But anyway, uh, we're going to leave that there for now, and uh, we're going to actually uh, get into things. Um, I need to get these guys downstairs, in fact, I actually need could do with breeding them up actually. Um, so I mean they can't get out of this, out of this area, so I'm just going to do that, hopefully they don't escape 
they free, they'll be free to roam and I'm just gonna breed them up so we'll have at least four uh, there's enough there's enough materials around to for four so while they're doing that uh, we're gonna get on with uh, building the farm Go button so before we actually get into actually building the sheep farm we need to make sure we've got enough space for it uh, by my cal calculations I need about 10 blocks wide by 15 uh, I'm thinking I may end up having to do away with that st that, that, that area at some point so let for the so let's uh, get our torches and we'll measure out what we need so um, I'm gonna give a bit more room um, there that way oh, make sure we can actually see nothing spawns down here I actually do need to um, make sure there's enough space okay that, that's, that should do us for space and we still have lots of room for other things because I would like to add at least a, a one or two more like little farms down here that I can just sit in AFK um, so first on the to-do list we need to dig out a 7 by 6 pit four layers down so I'm gonna go one in one two three four five six seven I have realized I'm really yeah, you. I've got 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 really need one hopper in the middle but um, when I built the uh, yeah that's probably why it looks a bit off to me um, because I gave it a wider entrance then I should because uh, the way the track works is um, supposed to align up with the uh, the sheep so that should be good for the uh, that should be enough room okay next we are going to lay out the tracks and um, for the collection system and place a chest and some hoppers so normally redstoners uh, place wool along their um, 
redstone systems, so, but I'm good, I'm using moss. Um, so we shouldn't need more than a stack of rails. Um, also going to you know, a double chest. And get my hoppers. So we shouldn't need to put down the hoppers just yet. Um, I also want to grab some azalea bushes because I want to see if I can place redstone on top of the bushes. Places on no, you can't. Any dirt? It's a good thing I've got dirt on me. Eh, nope. All buttons. hoppers and the double chest it's gonna be off center but I'm not bothered symmetry is not something I strive for in Minecraft okay now we lay down the track One powered rail in the gap, and, and then I'll need to put a, uh, a redstone torch on here. Oops. If I can not fail at jumping, that'd be good. Okay, so I can put the rails back, I don't need them now. Uh, I'll still need the hoppers. Um, I actually still need the tracks, thinking about it. Um, I'll keep the moss on me. Okay, now, we've done the collection system. I'm not putting the truck on till last, the, the cart on till last. Uh, put the the redstone torch there. Okay, so we need our hoppers on here. Let's place them where we put the azalea bushes. I may end up having to adjust that there. So I don't know if the... Um, hmm. I may end up having to adjust where those are sitting where the track is sitting actually um, okay that should actually do for the that's definitely going to be enough room better to have too much room than not enough
do 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 Okay, I'll need some of the, these hopper cups already. Let's put these away for a second. I don't need them off set, uh, right now. I'll keep the azalea, azalea bushes out. And uh, that should be it for the rails. Um, I don't need any more hoppers for now. I might end up needing those in a minute. Now we need to place the grass blocks. We just need seven, like so. Over each one. Over each hopper cart, you want like seven blocks of grass with the observer at the back. have a gap in the middle uh, you may see a different a different color uh, May as well go in and fill in the middle so uh, the grass has plenty of uh, chances of growing back. Um, now, I'm going to fill these bits in uh, so you kind of cover up a little bit and uh, make sure you lighten up underneath. Yeah, so, you don't, so you don't get any baddies under here. That's the last thing you want when you've got redstone things going on. And that's pretty much it. We just need the observers, which I've got in my pocket. You want them facing away from you. So they're looking into the grass block. I may end up having to adjust the ceiling here um, just so the sheep can get into the farm. Um, uh, okay, so we need to put the glass in now. Oh, hello. Looks like one of you managed to wander around. <laughs> We just need to put the glass in here. Uh, we leave a gap in the middle. Make sure to leave a gap for the dispensers, that's very important. <laughs> oh, 
That would have been an excellent wall farm, wouldn't it? Put everything in, you forget the dispensers. <laughs> I was saying it looked kind of odd. <laughs> now, I may need to refer back to a screenshot because um, I didn't actually put in my notes where I put the redstone dust. Um, it's that thing where you, you, you know you know what you know, but it doesn't. It the information escapes you. everything except the sheep and the redstone and the cart and the final minecart um, let's uh, uh, without hurting yourself that would be good okay don't need you <laughs> so I'm taking come, come on guys here. Nudge. No. Nope. Say. And I'm in the pen with the sheep. <laughs> uh, no. No escape. Okay. You know, you meant to go in the sh go in the hole. In the hole. Come on. In the hole. <laughs> can you can you go in there please? Yeah. No joke. Why you no go in? Come on, in you go. There's tasty grass down there, come on. One wide gap you can fit in it. Come on. After a great deal of frustration later. Okay now, Mr. Grey Sheep. You're going into that gla glass house. Nice and polite. Ni ni nice and cooperatively, aren't you? Unlike your brothers and sisters. Who made it very difficult for themselves. Come on, here you go. Nudge. 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 Nudge.
Nudge. Nudge. Yay! We win! And now we just need to wait for baby to grow up. Um, give you the rest of that. Because you were good. You, were, no, you went in the first time. <laughs> so now we need to make a lot of um, shears. Place them in the dispensers. Okay, now we need to put these in here. Fill them up. I actually made too many. Oh well, that does it. Okay, now last bit of uh, a couple of bits we need to do is add the redstone. They're all grown up. I can change the colour of their wool as I want to. Um, and place on the redstone so when the sheep eats the grass, the observer will see it. And the sheep, the uh, the uh, thing will see, and the uh, dispenser will do the snippy snip. Okay. Excellent. That's sorted. might need a bit more oomph. That may need a little bit more oomph. You should always remember that when you're doing any form of uh, project, be it redstone or regular build, that you may end up having to make adjustments. So I'm going to put a powered rail right here. And power, carts are easy put put, put together, so. There we go. Let's try again. There we go. Now we just need to wait to see if it's actually going to work. Well, a couple, uh, some some time has passed. I've tidied up around here. I've heightened the ceiling in, in under here, and um, this has been working away. Um, I had to change the azalea bushes to four moss blocks because the signal from the redstone just wasn't wasn't channeling through. Um, but this has been working away for quite a while now. And we've got a, a fair decent amount of wool out of it. Um, so this, this this should do us for our own purposes. I don't think this is something I could like put up in a shop at spawn. Um, I'm pretty sure someone already has wool on sale anyway. So um, that that is the wool farm complete. And I'm pretty pretty proud of myself. Um, having built this because um, the last time I built a wool farm was just me learning this is pretty much my own design all by myself from scratch um, I just took what I learnt from the previous series and um, turned it into this this, this is a, a, a real achievement for me um, on that note, I want to call it there for the, today's today's adventure. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you all in in the next episode. Bye bye, everyone.